Welcome to Electrical Stuff. This is a channel where you can learn the electrical knowledge in building sector. Today's topic is Circuit Breakers Part 2. In this uh, Part 2, we will learn about the nameplate details. Let's start our video. In this Electrical Stuff YouTube channel, I make videos on various topics such as uh, electrical design, distribution board calculations, interview questions, how to search jobs in UAE and uh, what is the salaries range in UAE, capacitor bank calculations and many more. If you are new to my channel, just go and watch the videos and enhance your knowledge. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, the following topics. One is part one uh, circuit breaker uh, video overview. We will see what we discussed there. Just recollect the information. And second thing is that we will discuss the, what is the nameplate and uh, importance of the nameplate, uh, those things. And we will be see ICU, ICS and ICW values. Part one video overview. In part one video overview, we are discuss what is the importance of the circuit breaker, why circuit breakers are required and uh, what is the importance. Those things we will discuss. Circuit breaker basically it is a device which provide uh, make or break of circuits during uh, load and offload and fault conditions. In the circuit breakers, uh, it's basically required because of the uh, overload or overcurrent and short circuit protections. That's the reason we will provide the circuit breakers. And uh, those details will be discussed in the part one video. If you didn't watch, just uh, go and watch the video and uh, learn why importance of the circuit breakers. So this is the agenda uh, I discussed in the part one video, circuit and overload current, short circuit current, what is a circuit breaker? So it is very interesting video. Just go and watch the video. Nameplate details. Nameplate details is uh, important for the electrical uh, equipments. Not only electrical equipment, every of uh, every equipment we have to be know uh, it uh, uh, what temperature, what voltage, what current it will be operated. So those details should be required. So those, if for example, if it is a motor, if you see here, here is a motor. So in the motor, it is, it is a mention, uh, mention here, there is a, a nameplate details there. So from the nameplate details, we can learn uh, what type of motor it is and uh, what voltage it's required, what type of current uh, required, what type of starting method required. Those details we will be learned from the nameplate details. Uh, let's back to the circuit breakers. Circuit breakers also have a nameplate details. Yeah, yes, circuit breakers also have a nameplate details. This is a circuit breaker a nameplate details. Let's see uh, one practical uh, circuit breaker. What is uh, written inside that nameplate details? We'll see those things. So if this is a uh, one of a brand, repeated brand, in the repeated brand, uh, this is a nameplate details. You see here, this is the, uh, it is a brand name, okay? And this uh, NSX100F, it is a model number. Then UI, UIMP, UE, this is a voltage what voltages and there is a ICU values are there. So there are mentioning these things and you see here there is some current it is there. So this is a trip settings. So from from a circuit breaker from overview if you look uh, then this part this particular part, uh, part it is called as a nameplate details. So from the nameplate details, we will learn different elements. So we know that this circuit breaker will be operated at, uh, uh, operated at what voltage, what current. So, uh, so this is a simple information from the. So circuit breakers uh, have uh, two important elements are there. First one is the voltage rating and second is the current rating. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about the current uh, ratings. So current, ra current rating basically have a, a not only three and four. One is the operating current. Second uh, is ICU and ICS and ICW. What these currents are, let's uh, know in detail in coming slides. 
breaker currents in the breaker current first one is the in current what is in current at the circuit breaker at normal operating condition how, how much current it will be flow that is called the in current or normal operating current so where it is written in the circuit breaker if you see this particular circuit breaker there is a this is in that is in is equal to 160 ampere so this circuit breaker normal operating current is 100 160 amperes so this is written in the circuit breaker if you what 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 how we can define it is so the rated uninterrupted current for a circuit breaker is a value of current that the circuit breaker can carry during uninterrupted service so it means that during uh, during the load condition we have a particular load the particular load we require particular current in earlier videos uh, we know how to calculate the breaker current and cable current and load current uh, if you didn't watch that uh, just watch on the uh, watch videos on electrical design in that one we discussed the calculations of the load current breaker current so if you if you if you're not aware how to calculate just uh, go and watch those videos <clears throat> so in the circuit breaker at the particular load load condition uh, we have a current will be flown so that current is called the breaker current this current it will not uh, for this particular current the circuit breaker will not trip will not off it means okay so let's see uh, let's see another example if you this if you see another another brand in this brand if you see there is a rating there this is a called this particular value it is known as the in value so now we will see the icu current what is icu current I, icu current is the ultimate short circuit breaking capacity from the name itself it is understood that the breaker will operate ultimate short circuit current in the during the short circuit current anomalous current will be flow so this current should be interrupt we are providing circuit breaker to interrupt this short circuit current so from this short this circuit breaker we have to be know that uh, for example this circuit breaker is can carry 100 100 kilo ampere of short circuit current so we accordingly we will be pro we are choosing our circuit breakers according to the load conditions according to the short circuit conditions we are choosing the different different circuit breakers for example if you see this in this example uh, this nameplate from the nameplate details we are we are seeing the short circuit current if you look at this uh, nameplate details this is the value of icu in the icu what they are saying icu uh, this is the voltage rating different different voltage ratings what is the uh, icu rating for example this breaker consider 690 volts it is operated the icu value is 100 kilo amperes basically these short circuit current represented in the kilo ampere uh, kilo amperes so during the icu this value is 100 kilo amperes so this particular breaker will carry 100 kilo amperes it means that after that after that if if more than this one the circuit breaker will um, will may damage so this is the uh, icu current if you can uh, if you can define circuit breakers can break the maximum fault current after fault it might be damaged so maximum maximum short circuit current it will be break circuit will be breaker will be off this is the icu next terminology so now we will be see the ICS value. ICS value is what what it means. ICS value is a rated uh, breaking capacity or surface short circuit breaking capacity. It is also typical to ICU values, but ICU is ultimate short circuit current. But ICS value is percentage of ICU values. So ICS value is 20, 30, 40 percent of ICU values. Uh, for example, uh, the breaker is tested. ICU is 100 kilo amperes. But next time, if you test the breaker, it it uh, maximum and the strength is not 100 kilo amperes. Then we have a less than that percentages uh, percentage will occur. So that may be 20 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent. If the breaker is a good breaker, then the value ICS and ICU values is equal. Okay. Uh, if where we can look uh, these values this is the ICS values so means this breaker can interrupt the fault currents 
85 kilo amperes but in this case circuit breaker will not get damage ics value circuit breaker will not get damage so maximum it can withstand the 85 kilo amperes and this is what uh, written ics values it means so next uh, terminology we will see the icw value what is icw value short time withstand current short time withstand current from the name itself uh, say that the maximum uh, fault current how many seconds it can be withstand so it is a time oriented so if you look at this particular side icw values it says that 85 kilo ampere for one second so it means that this circuit breaker can carry 85 kilo ampere for one second uh, uh, the, without without any interruption so if for example uh, sometime short circuit current will be uh, come and uh, go during the spikes will be uh, spikes if, if it is a short circuit current for example sometime we we have a peak currents are there peak currents but this peak current it will not stay maximum uh, five seconds or three seconds these are say less than one second less than one second for example consider this particular one second the breaker can withstand this short circuit current without any tripping of without any tripping so in that case in that case this icw value it is rated as 85 kilo ampere one second so the circuit breaker will not get trip for one second so it can carry 85 kilo amperes this is called the short time withstand current so i hope uh, you are, you understand uh, this concept what is normal current what is uh, icu current what is ics current what is icw current so in the coming video we will discuss the voltage rating topics thanks for watching good day if you have any particular queries please let me know through comment section good day bye bye